available to us. It's like a reference film for us. So completely that film really, really put me here today where I am. So the journey has been huge from 11 years from Chandni Bar to Heroine is a great journey, which got me critical acclaim, box office success and a lot of national awards. No, it, it was an absolutely wonderful movie. And what, what I've noticed about your filmmaking is that uh, you, you've, you, you try to look at different professions or different areas of I mean, you did page three which I really identified with as a journalist and even though I'm not a print journalist but what happens uh, to a crime reporter and all of that one could identify with that fashion was you yeah. know that look, looked at what, what's happening in the fashion world do you consciously do that to, to I mean do, is there genuine research that goes into this and to make it as realistic as possible this is the life of a journalist or a, uh, a model and so on. Yeah, I deliberately do that because I have no uh, uh, apology about it. Kya hai, why should I do Just now I met Arun ji, Arun Puri ji. He just asked me, so Madhur, kisko target kar abhi tu? First thing he asked me. So I think it's okay because I make the, those kind of movies which I feel there are a lot of, when you can show on television, when papers we read, why I can't show on tele, uh, in the film? So whatever it is, it's, it's a page three or a chandni bar or a satta, or fashion or heroine or jail. I love to show this dark side of it and real side of it. And I make it in a very moderate budget, which I know it won't be losses to my producers. And I feel that these are the subjects which this is very good for me to make this. There's nothing wrong in it. Time to do it on TV anchors. Huh? Time to do it on TV anchors. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'll try to put. It'll be great fun. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, uh, the nation wants to know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he's here. Uh, I think he was here yesterday. I think we all know who we're talking about. Uh, I, I do recommend watching Three Shakti because I must see now what this yeah, is yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a landmark cinema. Uh, you know why it's landmark who cinema? Who wore the swimsuit? Nee, nee, because this is the only place it ran was landmark theater. No, no, I was telling you. Landmark cinema is why if the Three Shakti wouldn't have bombed, if that movie would be hit, uh, I would have been making that kind of cinema only. <laughs> I made it bomb, that's why I'm sitting here. Wonderful. <laughs> Lovely to hear from you, uh, Madhur Mandarkar. Let me ask Liz here, who, who's probably watched this with a great amount of interest. What have you seen change about Indian cinema in the last 10 years? Well, I think it's become an awful lot more diverse in the past 10 years. When I started watching Indian films, it was mostly Bollywood cinema. Um, I love Bollywood. I'm a big fan. But I've seen that change a lot over the past 10 years because now we're getting films that are addressing different audience groups. Um, the subject matter that's being uh, dealt with is very diverse. So it's become a lot more interesting. And I think while Bollywood is a genre that can travel around the world, I think some of the new cinema that's coming out now is appealing more to international audiences. What would, then, if you could give examples, are the films that you feel have stood out? Uh, in, in these, the new genre that you're, that you're talking about? Recently, in the last few years, well, there's the obvious example, The Lunchbox. Um, and that's a film that's very, very Indian. It's a very Indian context, but the, the themes are very universal. And, you know, I live in Hong Kong, and that film's currently performing really well in Hong Kong because people can really relate to the love story. Um, I think Ship of Theseus, it's, it's more of a difficult film, and it... Uh, tackle some subjects which might be quite difficult to understand, but I think that's also very interesting and it's found its audience around the world. I mean, maybe not theatrically, but it's, it's certainly found people who love the film. There's a certain kind of film, though, you seem to be talking about because uh, you're not really talking about the typical masala, you know, Hindi film. And many, many people would say, what's wrong with that? I mean, those are great films in their own... They're different. I mean, does every film have to be intellectually at a certain level to be a good film, is my question. No, well, like I 